Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, like I said at the end of like I said at the end of the last episode, in this episode we are going to be mainly doing side quests. So, if that's not what you're into, I apologize. But I want I want to get these things done. I'm pretty sure we're heading up on a part of the story where you could start missing out on side quests if you don't do them now. So that's what we're going to do. We have 5 to do today. Yes, we have 5 to do today. So so depending on how long these take us, we'll see. But anyway, let's start with the first one. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not oh, just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Yikes. Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Red letter day. Okay. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. All right. Hopefully we can fast travel. Sure he doesn't. Hopefully we can fast travel. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Yes, okay, good. Is this where they want us to go? Yeah, red letter day, red letter day. And then there's here's the other um, side quests I'm talking about. We'll pick those up at some other point. Well, I mean, we'll do them in this episode, but I'm going to be focusing on one at a time. <sighs> Didn't mean to press that, but... The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I'd better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. More of the lost supplies. Well, that that was easy. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. Oh. Oh, I, d I did not even see this person. Overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, 
if you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Okay, cool. I could, yeah, let's just, let's just travel there. We're not missing anything important by not walking there, so maybe a fight or two, but. Back are you? Did Master Quintin summon you? The shad's all salted and smoked. I was hoping I could jump that, but I guess not. A whole day on the line and they're still not dry. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. And he's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Alright, like I said, I could pick up the two that are in here right now, but it's not like I would complete them and their things are going to be in this area. So, to me, might as well just turn this in now, you know. Keep it to where I'm only focusing on one thing at a time. Besides, there's another, there's another quest to pick up in here, so. Maybe I should just own up. To... Oh, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. <laughs> I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter. Is it about curse breaker business? <laughs> only it's from his daughter she's off studying in canver and her letters are all that keeps sid sane while she's away he never mentioned a daughter well he's a busy man and thanks to you he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats so i'd say you did us both a service here for your troubles thank you if there's anything you're wanting from sid today's the day He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Hmm. So Sid has a daughter. I wonder if she'll come up later. Or if that'll be the only real uh, instance we have of her. Hmm. Alright, now the next one we got to pick up is right over here. Could this potentially be our side quest to get a chocobo? I think it might be a little too early, but we'll see. He's dead for this night. Postmaster. Nope, it is not. Fear the worst. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? 
Needs of the many. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. So back to Lost Wing I go. If it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Okay. Is this a potentially new area? No. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. No real easy way to get there, though. Can I have another cup, Teddy? Uh, uh, for me. <laughs> All right. Sun setting fast. Up and out. This is going to take a second. Really wish we had a mount. Alright, now we're back into combat territory. There he is. Or really someone. You all right? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but... <laughs> The sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Alright. I knew, I knew something was going to happen. I mean, it's obvious, right? But at least we get to see some combat today. Oh my god. Cool, cool. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> Stay down! Thank you. 
I jumped out of that. Oh, bone necklace. That's, um, I've only gotten a few of those, I think. See. Oh, man. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the right side. I'll speak to Quentin. That really is too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over. My man told me what happened, and I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave, though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Okay, so we don't have to go and talk to the older gentleman. That's okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad for that, but it does mean that now I can I can just grab the quests that are here. <sighs> Keep going the wrong way. None left for me. <laughs> so that kind of worked out well, I guess. But... Setting fast. So let's go ahead and grab this one over here since it's the closest one. I can't say I've ever been through here, I don't think. 
location. Oh. Winemaking cellar. Huh. Bet you'd like to see what's beyond that door, wouldn't you? We're not on my watch. Fair enough, okay. I was curious, but fair enough. The Quintet will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard... Lost Wing's pride and joy has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. <laughs> I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. I don't know. Yeah, no, oh yeah, of course we will. All right, I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Jeez, oh, okay. <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> Sorry. That's just the that's the um the the impression I get from that conversation. It's like that's just what I get from it. I don't know why. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. It's going to be a bit more than a few wasps, I have a feeling. So it was just some easy enough. Looks like that was the last of them. I'd better let Quentin's man know. It's been a little while since we've pet the dog. And he's such a good boy. won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Druge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well... 
He certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> I can live with that. And we're not getting much. The black blood's appreciated. All right, so that is that. There's another, another one in this area. Oh wait, what is this? I'm just completely curious. Hymns of Gregor. Okay, so this is their church. Oh, we're just up on the bridge. Cool. Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? Well, it depends. What do you need? Just about to say the same some thing. new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Of course. Of course I will. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. All right, let's see if we can help them. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <laughs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. I'll tell me. Turnips for supper. Can I have another cup, Daddy? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Okay. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. from the tavern. May we? Truly? Oh, 
that's a weird, weird sound. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. All right, so that is that. What happens to us now, brother? Nothing bad, I promise. Not ever again. Okay, so that is all of that. Let's open up the world map. And it looks like we should just have the last quest in Martha's Rest. Yep, while the cat's away. Okay, so this is an act this is actually in Martha's Rest. It's not an East Pool. Okay. Yeah. So this should be the last quest we take we take on unless something opens up after this. I don't I wouldn't think so, but you never know. The tavern. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're going to kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but... Oh, please help them. I... yeah. But I feel like something else is going on. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? I don't know. Yeah, there are other people that look a little nervous. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, really is bandits. Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you on it? Right. Get him, lads. I won that play. Let's get this out of the way. Stay down. Did they even stand a chance? No, I don't believe they did. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stable! Ah, oh, jeez. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosario a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Okay. Just a little something, but it all adds up eventually, I think. Hour. 
All right. I do believe that should be it. We're going to head back to we're going to head back to the hideaway to just to make sure on a few things. I'm pretty I, I mean I know for a fact that that should be it. But I am going to check obviously cuz why not? Um well, if I remember correctly, yeah, let's go. You know me. I I like getting these uh, gold dots gone. Good day. And I kind of want to see what happens if he levels up again. He did. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. Yeah, and you guys needed to hear that just because it's awesome. Something about the founder. I was curious about this. Hmm. So it's more, almost more of a story. Okay. Legend of the Founder. Well, that was interesting. I guess. What subject shall we consider today? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot in here. I, I really haven't taken the time to sit down and read all of it. But. Did you learn pretty cool. everything you needed? I was gonna check the alliance, just to make sure. Has he given us a hand? Just to make sure. Anything catch your eye? Nothing and nothing. Okay, you good. You can help. All right, everybody. This is where we will wrap it up for today. So. So, like I said, this is where we'll wrap it up for today. And the next episode, we will go right over to Gav to speak with them and continue on with our main, main quest line so we have that to look forward to but anyway if you enjoyed this episode which i sincerely hope you did please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for when we post new content and let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comment section down below but other than that thank you so much for watching i really really do appreciate it and i will see you all next time.